What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today, this time on the main PC. And we're gonna try ourselves out some Warzone. Yeah, it should be fun. I'm mostly just running around, but every once in a while I see some people and try and fight them or get killed, so at least it should be a little more entertaining than usual. But in any case, why don't we go ahead and go hop ourselves into the game. And I gotta remember to turn my back lights off from my kitchen. They showed up in the video during the camera recorded portion anyway, so I'm just gonna go shut them off now. That way I don't forget, you know? All right, so I don't know why that recording is starting is popping up when it's exclusive full screen, but that's random. Anyway, we're gonna start all maxed out at 4K, just like we've done on all the rest of the desktops and other systems. Basically, I try, not maxed out, I think the some of the other systems I did just high. But once we started getting to the desktops, I decided to try it out. I figured they could handle it. But anyway, that's the bottom, so let's get to the game. Here we go. Sorry about the recording and started thing. I hate when that thing pops up, but since I was an exclusive full screen, I figured I was good, but apparently I was not. So far, it's doing pretty good. There's a couple spots where it has some stutters, but so far, every system has had some stutters. I think the volume DPC, once you stopped being just native, 40, uh, ultra wide, it stopped having the stutter so bad. Eliminate all targets in the AO. But at least for now, it seems to be doing great. Like, if I could just do this the whole time, this would be awesome. If it just never had a stutter and just always got these kinds of frame times. This is like what I'd expect. But somewhere along the way, I swear it starts doing stutters like the rest. And I'm like, oh, damn. Yeah, I think this one liked being native the best. I think it was smooth as native. Maybe it only stuttered when we started doing DLSS and all the other ones. Well, hell, let's go find out. So now we're gonna try some DLSS quality. All right, so there we go, DLSS it is on quality. I remember to show it this time. Sometimes I just straight forget to do that. All right, why don't we get into a game? All right, here we go. We got DLSS on quality, so let's get ourselves a little gameplay.
primary objective is to eliminate all targets. Oh, hookah. Yeah, see, it has more of these those frame time skips now. I don't think we had those as much when we were on NATO. Like, on the plane, sure, but it always stutters on the plane, on every PC I've ever tried. It's not like it makes the game unplayable or anything. It's not the kind of stutters like, oh, shit, I'd get killed kind of stutters. Not like on the Ally X. Those were the kind of stutters that were like, shit, this could get me killed. Same thing with the freaking Alienware when I was on 1200p. That thing sucked. It was like low FPS and stutters. But this one just does like a little frame time skip every once in a blue moon, it seems like. Yep, there's more of those little stutters. Yeah, I don't like that. I'd probably just not use DLSS in this game if that's what's going to cause it. But it could just be because I'm recording. Sometimes recording makes stutters happen. So we'll have to see what it does when we get to the camera <laughs> recording portion. I think I'll probably have frame gen on at that point, too. All right, let's go hide in the bathroom and let's go move on. Last up here, we're gonna try a little frame gen with the LSS still on quality. There we go. Frame gen is now active. All right, let's go ahead and get back to the game. Here we go. Frame gen time. You got gas closing in fast. Unass yourself to the safe zone. Strongholds located. Targets are marked on your attack map. Oh, there's a guy behind me. Hopefully he doesn't pull out his pistol and try and shoot me in the back. I hate when people do that.
Munitions box, and through the window we go. Hey, shotgun, perfect inside tool. All right, though, let's move on. All right, now for some camera recorded gameplay. This one definitely has more stutter than the uh, all AMD PC did. That one still had a couple here and there, but this one's got way more. It's not playable or anything, but. appears to be in here. Oh, cool.
why. I just had the feeling someone was following me. But it's probably just some nonsense feeling. Cool, at least we're in the thing barely right here. Get rid of that so I can hear. I thought I heard footsteps, so I wanted to be quiet for a second, but no, I think we're good. I could always go camp that. A lot of times people go for those and they're easy pickings while they're trying to pick their shit. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. Okay, for a second I thought that was somebody like parachuting in, but I think that's just the wind. I think that's good. So why don't we just go wrap this video on up? Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Call of Duty Warzone, and it did a pretty dang good job. Still had a little more stutters than the all AMD PC did, so that was a little annoying, but not anything that would've probably gotten me too killed. It's not like what the Asus Ally was doing at first, for example. That was that was way too much stutter. But it was also decently uh, stutter-free once we did frame gen and whatnot, but it was still a little bit here and there. Just trying to be honest here. So I'm kind of curious, how will the TV PC handle it? Seeing as though it's got an AMD CPU, but it's got NVIDIA GPU. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out, and that's to wrap this video on up so we can go get started. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.